Hey guys, this is the boss, and today I'm gonna watch something that might give me nightmares. And it's top 20 disturbing moments in kids' shows by Blame It On George. So let's begin. A lot of cartoons that I grew up with were great. They were funny, exciting, and even really smart. However, every now and then, even the simplest of cartoons can have that one dark moment. That one moment that had you and your friends traumatized and talking about it the next day. There are disturbing cartoons. And then there are normal cartoons with disturbing moments. Uh, Today I'm going to count down the most disturbing moments in kid shows. Keep in mind that this is all opinion based and I haven't seen every episode of every kid show. I've seen some. So there might be a few that I've left out. With that being said, here are the top 20 disturbing moments in kid shows. Uh, why are they showing? Uh, top 20 disturbing moments in kid shows. The tapeworm from Mr. Meaty. I personally enjoyed Mr. Meaty, despite everyone else thinking that the show was that. creepy and eerie. No, I never did either. Yes, Mr. Meaty can be disturbing like the time they purchased protein shake that contained the devil in it. But in the episode Mooch Master, Parker gets a tapeworm after eating a raw burger. What is that? What the hell? Tapeworm, buddy. Must have been that raw burger you ate. <laughs> Not only is this unsettling, but after the tapeworm is fished out of Parker's insides, a hunter buys it, and then a tapeworm goes inside him. Oh. Damn. Yeah. Finally. Flashbacks. X Men. In the episode. Weapon X, Lies, and Videotape. Wolverine, Silver Fox, Maverick, and Sabretooth all head to Canada for some enjoyable relaxation. While visiting Canada, our heroes begin to have flashbacks More like of sex lies very and very painful experiences in their lives. Uh. Sabretooth probably being one of the worst offenders. In Sabretooth's flashback, That's Creed and Creed, not Victor in the X-Men Animated Series. We see a young Sabretooth on the basement floor with his father saying, He's no son of mine. He's some kind of animal. He's full of wickedness. To which, childhood, Sabretooth sobs. No, Pa. No, Pa, please don't do that again. I I'll be good. I swear I'll be good. I'll be good. I'll be good. I think I'll watch this one. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Yeah, damn, look at that eight. Finally. Rocco like... being seduced. Rocco's modern life. When Mrs. Big Head uh -huh. can't get any attention from her husband, she lures Rocco into her house and tries to seduce him. Okay. What does seduce me? Oh, no. Frank, get away from me. Very educational. Rocco's modern life is a show known for its dirty humor. But this episode takes it up a notch. The episode was even banned from Nickelodeon because of the sexual content and adultery. Wow. Great job, Rocco's my life. Mr. Big Head, uh, it's, it's not what you think. Uh, I mean, I was, um, and she... And then... I, and, uh, and then... I thought about it. I thought about this piece is gonna go off. After finally... Why is it keep Normal is good. My life as a teenage robot. Huh? The exoskin makes a return in this episode when it tries to persuade Jenny into being normal forever. Help! I can't breathe! You don't breathe, honey! After Jenny allows this exoskin to consume her, she turns into a normal girl. However, the suit begins to influence her thoughts and makes Jenny refuse to help people. Beauty is a 24 hour job. We can't just look like a normal girl. We have to behave like a normal girl. Believe we're a normal girl. A normal girl can do anything. Oh, normal that's creepy. That's the creepiest shit I've ever seen. Great job, blame it on Joy. I think his name is. The dream. Hey, Arnold. The dream, that's Arnold it. Arnold and Gerald both get a job at a flower shop in an attempt to raise money. But. However, they get into a fight and are no longer friends. And? When Arnold goes home, his grandfather warns him about holding grudges and the importance of friendship. Arnold then falls asleep. 
and he has a dream where Gerald and himself are old and still mad at each other. They don't even remember why they're mad to begin with. Everything seems fine so until this happens. <laughs> oh my god! The jaw, did you see? Oh my gee. I'm not Tommy, Rugrats. Okay. In this episode, Chucky has strange dreams to the point where he begins to question reality, what is real and it what is not. keeps looking behind me, I don't know. The lines start becoming blurred for him. The first time this happens, Chucky dreams of this. Hey, Spike's not supposed to talk. What's going on, Tommy? I'm not Tommy. <laughs> what the fuck? The next day, Chucky believes that he is still asleep, and he goes into the next yard to try to talk to a bulldog. After realizing that he is awake, and the bulldog is all too real and dangerous, he gets saved by Tommy. Chucky is then put to sleep by his father, Chaz. And? And then it happens again. Stu, I didn't know you were coming over. I'm not Stu. <laughs> Uh, giving that's green. nightmares to that, kids everywhere. That's green though. Yep, blame it on George right over there. I may put it to his channel room. below if I have time. Insane in the memory. Person. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This episode introduced Andrew. Baxter Stockman, a brilliant scientist Baxter who unfortunately Stockman. had his limbs and body mutilated from him. Oh. After being implanted Who's into that? a robot suit, Baxter begins to recreate his own body. And, and it actually works. But... However, the body begins to deteriorate. Pieces of his body begin to fall off, and his skin turns into a sick greenish color. He's about to fix himself again. But I think he pretty much failed. Yep. That moment when they don't add. Blood parts finally, in kid shows. My peeps, the grim adventures of Billy and Mandy. Oh, watch this episode. When Billy ruins his eyes by playing too many video games and looking directly into the sun, Mandy and Grim suggest he's be an ophthalmologist. Billy refuses wearing glasses or having laser eye surgery, so Grim uses his own sight to zap his eyes. But although Billy has sharp and clean eyesight, he can also see glimpses into the future. Specifically, horror incidents that occur to his best friends. What are you screaming about, Billy? Of course I'm. Oh. Yeah. Is this a skull? Grim zaps Billy's eyes multiple times to restore them to normal, but Billy ends up with these weird-looking eyes. That should do it. Oops. Ew. What? Well, that's the ending of the episode, yep. Yeah. I see. Never finally. The mask. Goosebumps. Goosebumps is a show designed to scare kids. I know what's that so show. So any number of episodes could be on this list, such as Stay Outside of the Basement. <laughs> Damn. Night of the Living Dummy. No, I'm not gonna be your slave. You can't make me. Eh, I can make you do anything I want. You have no choice. Your whole family thinks you're crazy. I've seen to that. <laughs> and welcome to Camp Nightmare. What are you doing, Billy? Uh, I was just trying to make a call to your parents, just to say hi. <laughs> Well, that's not gonna be much use, is it? <laughs> I put it up as a joke. Where's the real phone? Well, no, that's just it. There is no real phone. Now, they're not gonna put a line way up here. We're miles from anywhere. Hmm. However, the classic episode that gave a lot of kids scares is the first episode. The Mask. From the wake of Oh! What's happening? What are they doing? Run! Run! Never 
finally. Azula from Avatar The Last Airbender. What? The psychotic princess of the Fire Nation, Azula is a sadistic perfectionist who just seems batshit creepy in the episode Sozin's Comet when her and her brother are fighting. I think this is the finale of the series. And when she is defeated. Final episode with four parts. Oh god. Is that, is that it? Is, is that it? I'm just curious. The final watch all the episodes. Finally. Seasons 1, 2, 3. Pinkie Pie hallucinates. My little pony. Oh, it's that thing from, uh, from, uh, from, uh, one, Cupcakes. Favorites, Pinkie Pie Almost. There is a party and invites it's the time of this one. However, nobody could show up. And Pinkie Pie, being the ADHD hopped up pony we all know, does not take it so well. He's At the party, Pinkie Pie dun, 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 thanks all of her Jesus. friends for coming, who are nothing more than turnips, rocks, and other cakery decorations. This is one great party! You really outdone yourself! Why, thank you, Rocky! As the scene goes on, Pinkie Pie turns out to be more and more insane as Just she saying. starts making the inanimate objects talk to her. You end up actually seeing her whole descent into madness, and even a few theories throughout the internet has sprouted up about her. If I were you, I wouldn't speak to them ever again. You know what? I'm not gonna speak to them ever again. And I'm not gonna invite them to another party as long as I live! They don't deserve to be invited to my party! Not after the way they've been acting. Please speak up! I move it! Yes, that's right! Well, Rocky, yeah, will you show up? And no one can only oh, think no, that this might be either one of the most inspired never felt for so fiction. Naughty cupcakes. Felt so <laughs> naughty cupcakes. I literally have a goosebumps. The final also has a goosebumps. I mean, the camera is sorry. Pokemon. What? Sabrina, the psychic type gym leader from the Pokemon anime, is one freaky character. Oh. In this episode, there's this young, creepy doll that laughs and disappears. Must it has psychic boy. powers and it even talks for Sabrina sometimes. <laughs> Nightmare feel for kids at the time. Don't put the camera away from me, woman. You know what? Sniffer, finally. Tough love, Powerpuff Girls. When an evil gas spreads throughout Townsville, it turns all the citizens against the Powerpuff Girls. The girls must fight their friends and loved ones to revert them back to their normal selves. Oh. You may be asking yourself, Looks like the different summer, chance. Jack. Well, it was none other than... Pam. Oh, him. Hey, enough. Sniffer, finally. Mind pollution. Captain Planet. In this episode, Linka's cousin Boris gets hooked on a new drug called Bliss, which is being distributed by a villain named Scum. <laughs> Linka gets kidnapped, and eventually her and Boris both become addicted to the drug. After almost being saved from the Planeteers, Boris collapses and dies right in front of Lincoln. This killed him. I'm sorry. No, you're lying. Boris, it's me, Linka. Wake up. Lincoln, stay. No, no, no. Oh, 
character dies from essentially a drug overdose in Captain Planet. Another one? What the hell is this? Tell me! Tell me! God damn, tell me! That's what I'm gonna do. Ren and Stimpy. In the episode, Svian Hoek, Ren's cousin Svian visits, and it turns out that Svian is just as stupid as Stimpy. After Ren comes home from a long day at work, he finds all of his possessions violated by Svian and Stimpy. Oh. And then the following scene takes place. <gasps> oh, what I'm gonna do to you. I'm so angry. First, I'm gonna tear your lips out. What? Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh god, don't, don't, oh. And then I'm gonna close your eyes out. Yeah. Next, I'm gonna tear your eyes out of the socket. What the fuck did I just see? What the hell did I just watch? Flapjack. The Misadventures of Flapjack was a episodes. show known for its imagery and black comedy. Like in the episode, How the West Was Fun, when Flapjack and Captain Knuckles hallucinated the world ending. Who the hell is that? Looks like a... Uh, the one from uh, Little Mermaid. Just uh, the photo of Ariel. Yes. Or in pun times, when Flapjack is being out punned. He is limes. Uh. I see you're not yellow, fellow, but I don't want to make you blue. So get a clue and purple the fluff before you play. Or I'll arrange a rainbow. Okay. Also in Who Let the Cats Out of the Old Bag's House? No! 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 <laughs> I turn around to fire my But arguably the freakiest moment has to be in this episode. Knuckles and his hilarious problem. Not the After being the tied onto a raft and drifting into <clears> the <throat> sea, Knuckles has this disturbing hallucination. Paulo Candy. Super Saiyan, wow. Tom and Jerry suicide. What? Tom and Jerry. In the final episode of the original Tom and Jerry series, Tom can be seen on the train tracks as Jerry's narration states that it'll all be over soon. And that it's, it's, it's better this way. An early flashback is shown of Tom desperately trying to win his girlfriend back after she had left him for a much more richer cat. Tom spends his life savings buying her jewelry, giving himself up to slavery, to buy a new car, and other things, but nothing works. Finally, we come back to the railroad, as Jerry is looking down at a depressed Tom, thankful of his girlfriend. But. However, the same thing happens to Jerry. She cheats on him, 
for a much richer mouse, and Jerry falls under the same depression. He joins Tom on the train tracks. And... Then the episode ends. A faint chown. The train approaching, getting louder and louder. Before cutting that. Well, thanks for spoiling the whole goddamn episode. I was supposed to watch Tom and Jerry. Imperfect Cell, Dragon Ball Z. But before it was well, not necessarily a kid show, let alone a children's no, it's cartoon. It's a teenager's Many kids like teenager's myself, turn show because it's blood on it. High octane action known as Dragon Ball Z after school. During the Imperfect Cell saga, there's a moment where Cell absorbs an innocent man before fighting Piccolo. The man initially thinks that he was free. But that was until Cell shows him otherwise, showing us some of the it looks like a condom. disturbing images I'm not kidding. of the series. Oh my god, look at Piccolo's eyes. It's in horror. Why is the old man holding a pile of money? Oh god, I can almost see the, I can almost see the bones. It's like uh, someone swallows. I'm not even. Oh, I'll take back what I said. This is literally the worst thing. I can't even realize. And I'm looking behind me right now. It was before it turned to a normal cell. I see what I didn't know. Number two. Good Give me something. Family. Come on. Butterfly. SpongeBob. Oh, Spartan. fuck off! No. In the episode Wormy. SpongeBob and Patrick take care. I've of seen the episode. Worm. They develop a friendship with the worm and have a play day together. Watch Overnight, it if you want. The worm goes through a metamorphosis I'm, and becomes a butterfly. Oh, I have goosebumps. SpongeBob and Patrick so conclude that the kid, butterfly is a monster and they are scared. Worm. It's pretty silly for SpongeBob and Patrick to assume that a butterfly is a monster. Until this happens. Oh no. Jesus. Nope, I'm not gonna show it to you. I'll show you a big glimpse of it. I'm st <laughs> Stefano st <laughs> Oh my god, cameraman having uh, goosebumps. Me. Courage the Cowardly Dog. Courage the Cowardly Dog I'm is done. the healing achievement of childhood scares. What the hell? What's the that show is dark, face? atmospheric, and a risk taker with what it can get away with. Any of its, its episodes could be the scariest. It's based like on Courage, the curse. dog who's in the housing. This is 3D. Don't go in there, Courage. Don't. Ricky Fred. But in this case, I realize she. needed space. And many others. Of course, the one to top them all is from the episode Perfect. Courage creates an imaginary teacher to teach him how to be perfect. But nothing disturbing so far. But except for this infamous moment. Damn his eyes. Looks this good eyes open. Oh. What the hell? Not perfect. What? Are we done? Thanks for watching. Yeah. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like and a favorite. Yeah, I'm basically done. Um, blame it on George. Link in the description. Shout out. That's it. My mind blown. Thanks for watching. Like or subscribe. Share it. You know. Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter. Peace. I'm going to bed. Good night.